All right, I got two ladders, a two by four, two clothes hangers, and the golf cart roof. I did this because I want to wrap their line both sides of the top, the top and the bottom. And I figured if I do it like this, I don't have to worry about waiting till one side dries to flip it over versus the hardener in the product harden up. So in the gun, so I'm able to do both sides at one time. I have two more clothes hangers. I might just put them in there just for some insurance purposes and do that as well. So that's what I got. They're both, it's hanging up on both ladders. So, all right, so let's make this concoction here. I have a two quart mixing cup here. This is a one quart. I'm not gonna use that. This has been my catch all table for this project this week. Um, the Raptor that I have is tenable. And um, so I need to, you know, make that black. So I went out to my cousin's house and he gave me some black uh, pigment paint. We're gonna mix with this. We have um, 16 ounces left of the hardener. And I have a new gun as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all this right here together in this right here container. And then we'll dump it into a gun and spray the roof. We'll see inside of the mixture. So I'm gonna say this about to there. If it was the black one, that was already mixed, you would just take the hardener and dump it in into that line right here. I think that's the last time I did black. So you didn't have to mix each uh, bottle by batch, but we're gonna do two bottles by batch and mix the color as well. Insert jokes here. When you're almost home and that thing is starting to break the seal. Anyways, I'm sure y'all are gonna have a lot better jokes than that. That's what it looks like coming out though. All right, just dump the paint in and just sits on top. I got these old uh, cutouts from a project I was doing on the laser. I always kept them just, just in case. So I'm gonna use this right here as a stir stick. For this right here, I have not added a hardener just yet, but I'll add that just in a little bit. Just remember to have a stir stick for the drill. I'm gonna use that instead. So the Raptor comes in 32 ounce cans here. So we're gonna use eight ounces per bottle. I've already used 16 ounces or half of this already. Uh, so I'm gonna just use the rest of this on here. Now we need to go ahead and mix this up as well. And then after we do that, we're gonna load this right here back into one of those bottles right there and get it ready to spray and start spraying the roof. So it may not look like it, but I've already cleaned the roof. I've bleached it and I've pressure washed it off as well on the front and the back or the top and the bottom. This is the top here. Got my gun hooked up. Air compressor is starting to build pressure. Uh, once we pull the trigger and let us know uh, what we have the pressure set on. This is our first bottle. It's almost to the rim right there. And what I'm gonna do is uh, get some gloves on before I start shooting. Uh, don't ever wanna get this stuff on your hands. It will come off, but it's aggravating. Some cheap gloves go a long ways. All right, so it looks like the compressor just stopped, just cut off. I'm gonna load the gun here, show you that as well. Okay. This is just your basic gun. It really doesn't have an adjustment uh, tip on it. Some of them have the adjustable tips. Helps you shoot a little bit better or finer or whatever. Generally, you can just closer, longer, or you know what I mean? Closer distance when shooting or longer away from shooting. And you can adjust the air pressure as well. So our air pressure now is set to 40 PSI. Those are the tops from the bottom. You're just gonna load it just like that. Tighten it down. And it's ready to shoot.
Second batch is mixed up. New gloves as well. I spilt some on my the other gloves when I was uh, uh, filling this bottle up. So I wanted to put some new gloves on. But there's a couple of spots on here we need to touch up. We also need to spray the underside and I'm gonna spray the dash panel off camera as well. Texture is different this time. I turned the gauge down a little bit, the output pressure. It's around 15 to 20 psi output. What I'm about to do may seem wasteful to you. I'm gonna remove the gauge here. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I can keep that. The bottles, they're trash. The gun, yeah, you know, it's pretty much trash too. These are like a one-time use type guns. Now you can clean it if you want to. However, when you buy a kit of four bottles, you know, enough hardener that comes with it, usually you can get a gun with free with it as well. So why keep it and worry about trying to reuse it three or four different times and try to clean it after each time. I mean, you could do that if you want to. This one's going into garbage. So I don't wanna to have to use this gun right here ever again if I buy another four bottle kit, which I probably will. Uh, and just to keep on hand, I probably, the next time I do it, I'll probably just order black, to be honest with you, so I can have enough black on hand. You never know when you wanna paint a, a golf cart roof or a golf cart body or parts or, or pieces or whatever, but with that being said, you usually get a gun with the kit. And I'll place links to the kit down in the description below for black and for the tenable base as well. And you can make this any color. I've painted golf carts with a tenable base. I've done a blue one, I've done a red one. I've done some other colors in the past. I always thought it'd be kind of cool to do like a yellow or orange golf cart, like a jacked up car golf cart. But anyways, this right here is done. We're just gonna let this right here sit probably for an hour or two. Um, I'm not gonna move it. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's in the sun or not. And um, it'll take a few hours to dry, but once it's dry, we can start handling it. All right, so I put the roof back on. This is the finished project. It's been done now for a couple of weeks. Looks like I may have a chip right there. Not perfect, but looks a lot better than it did being white. It's got some chips in here of the windshield here it's constantly hitting it so i'll show you that i don't mind it's not perfect by any means just a diy that's what it looks like there i wish i could get a top view maybe you can see something up there not exactly sure underneath it i think it looked pretty good turned out pretty good you know, a full kit of black costs you about a hundred bucks. This right here was the tenable, cost you a little bit more than a hundred, maybe like 129, something like that. But you could paint it the same color of your golf cart or just a different color, you know, gray or white or whatever. So that's what I did on mine. So thought I'd show you that. Just a simple DIY to paint your top. This right here is on the Cushman. I'm not the Cushman carry y'all it was kind of a utility cart about to show this right here maybe later we'll see what that is but anyways appreciate you watching today's video guys and until next time we'll catch y'all later